scouting and love wearing shirts with lots of patches. I was a Tiger Den leader twice and I'm currently a Cub Master. I believe in this program and I have a leadership dream. My dream is that Cub Scouts get encouraged to have a lot of fun creating great memories and getting them out of the gym and out into the outdoors while learning and developing skills that they don't even know about. My dream for the future of scouting is that we dedicated volunteers remember that scouting is full of fun, excitement, and it is for the scouts. That we as scouters remember the magic and work to create for, create it for them. And that we keep the scout spirit alive. As a scout master, it is my dream to get the pack out more, learn and do more. Because of Wood Badge, I was able to help create Help the pack earn the hundred year celebration award. We also earned the hundred year council strip. You are good. <laughs> we also earned the Leave No Trace Award, and I was able to help create great experiences using the summertime pack award. Finally, I was able to help encourage the scouts through song Woo! and ceremonies to have more fun. My dream for each of you while you're here during this time of Wood Badge is to develop your own leadership dreams that are realized and encouraged. That you step outside of what you do, meeting to meeting, outing to outing, and create more fun and do something different. I was encouraged to sing, do more ceremonies and play the Native American flute. Catch the Woo! Woo! Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Vitamin. 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 Vitamin for Cub Scouts. Yay! Woo! It's only a joke. Okay. Uh, Who's there? I scream soda. I scream soda who? I scream so the whole world will know how much fun we're going to have. Now we'll never go to sleep. I hope I don't kids. Okay. Here. Okay, how many of you started your cups your cup scout? See, I'm a cup scout. Your scouting program as a Cub Scout or in Cub Scouting. All right, it doesn't surprise me that a lot of you did. That's where I got my start. We either start when we come in with our own boys, or you, the men anyway, started with when you were a Cub Scout. Well, um, my son got a delayed start on his trail to Eagle, and it was then that we really got involved, my husband and I. I had been a com committee member, and I became a den leader. And my husband had been a cub master and he became the 11 year old scout leader. And uh, we thought that we were supposed to turn the boys over to the scout master after cub scouting. That isn't so, you need to stay involved. So after his delayed start and we got um, catching the dream, we discovered how much fun it could be. I continued as a bear leader, then a weebles leader, as uh, round table, cub scout round table commissioner, 
day camp program director, and then the Cub Scout training team. I believe if we make this program so much fun with the very best leaders, which is each and every one of you, trained leaders, that no matter what happens along the way, the boys will stay with the program. And although Eagle is the ultimate goal, more important than that is the qualities they develop, the skills they learn, the service they give, and the character that's built within them as they're on this trail towards Eagle and along their way to become great men. So, catch the dream. Hi, Woo. I'm Wes and I am a Cub Scout leader. <laughs> I have a question for you. Are we having fun yet? Yeah! yeah. I can't hear you! Yeah! yeah. All right, everybody, a good turn round of applause. All together. <laughs> Thank you. My scouting dream is to help my son Chris and his friends advance through scouting, all the way to Eagle if they choose. Scouting played a significant role in my youth, and I just simply want them to have the same opportunity and foundation that I did. Chris and I have been in Cub Scouts now for three years, and I've had the privilege of being his den leader since he was a tiger. But we have a great band of eight boys, supportive parents, and committed leaders. And we're a very active pack, so we have a great deal of fun, like you see here, while we learn the beliefs and values of Cub Scouting. And Chris and I truly enjoy the time we spend and share together with our friends on our scouting adventures. And I'm hoping that those memories will last him a lifetime as I know they will for me. Now I get to be the Cub Master next year and I look forward to it because I know that my role and responsibilities will increase in terms of fostering learning and fun throughout the entire pack. And I truly believe that every one of those boys deserves a trained leader, and I like to lead by example. So, like all of you, taking those courses that we have to, the training we have to, just to be qualified to be a uh, registered leader in scouting, I chose to come to Wood Badge in 2009 <coughs> so that I could prepare for the Cub Master role and beyond as we advance on into Boy Scouting. And I was not disappointed. Wood Badge rekindled my scouting spirit from when I was a youth. In fact, it actually fanned the flames. I get emotional. And so, Wood Badge <coughs> is an opportunity to learn the things that you need to know. I have met many new scouting friends those that continue to inspire me. I learn from them every step of the way. And I want each and every one of you to have that same mountaintop experience. Because the future of your scouting adventure, wherever you're at on your journey, and each of us have a different journey, starts right here, today. So please, have fun, learn a lot, and catch your leadership dream. My name is Kathleen Dean, and I'm a scout leader like you all. I do believe in scouting and have a leadership dream. I have a passion and to make a difference in the life of the youth. I love children. My dream for the future of scouting is to challenge the youth and open their mind, have more fun on the first age you'll catch, and start a fire. Do you have fun? Yes! yes. yes. Go catch the fun! <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! Have you ever seen the sunrise on Mount Hood? Yeah. Yes. You know, I mean on Mount Hood. Yeah. Yeah. Have you backpacked the Pacific Crest Trail? Yeah. yeah. Or climbed Smith Rock? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm the scoutmaster of a backpacking troop, and our troop is always looking for adventure and looking for more fun. Always more fun. Well, we have our mountaintop experience every time we go out. And Wood Badge is your mountaintop experience. It's a place where we can develop friendships that will last us forever. It's a place where we are gonna have more fun that's legally allowed, 
<laughs> and it's the place that we will all share that sunrise view on the mountain. It's my dream for all of you to have a mountain top experience over the next six days. You will love Wood Badge. We love it so much, we keep coming back. Back to Gilwell. You'll get that later. So, catch your leadership dream. Well, how do I make scouting fun? By being more involved in the order of the arrow. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Way. Oftentimes, boys will go get, get, uh, get selected by the troops, go to the uh, ordeal, get their sash, get their patch, and oftentimes don't go back and help out. My son and I had the opportunity to be tapped out together and go through the ordeal together, uh, which was, was an amazing experience for us. And uh, when we came back, we decided we were gonna make sure that the people in our troop got the opportunity to go out and do some of the fun things that were involved with the OA, like going to the Native American arts and craft ceremony or the, the rendezvous and many of the other activities that the OA has to offer. It also gives me the opportunity to share some of my Native American heritage with the troop uh, that I share so much time with. The, uh, the OA also gives our boys a chance to serve their district by helping out with district Pinewood Derbies, flag uh, ceremonies, or even setting up a Boy Scout camp like Camp Uri. Uh, what an amazing opportunity for these guys to get involved and get back to scouting. But not only that, for them to bring that experience back to their units and have them have some more fun and help with the boys coming up in the program. So this is this is how I have have my my fun at scouting. Catch the dream. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta throw it for me to it's catch not, it, Ken. It's raining. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> All right. These are not corrective lenses, so anything could happen. Good morning everybody, my name is David Nash, and like all of you, I'm a scout leader too. I've been a Cub Scout leader, a Boy Scout leader, worked at the unit, district, council level, and like you, I have a leadership dream. My dream is that the youth that everybody here serves grows up and has the confidence, the passion, and the skills to be a good leader because you don't have to do anything more than look at the daily newspaper or see the television to know that this world needs good leadership more than it ever has. Anyone else have that dream? Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's not just about my dream. The scouts in Troop 419, they had a huge dream a few years ago. And that dream was to travel from Oregon to get scuba certified and go scuba uh, diving at the Florida sea base. It was a huge dream, 3,000 miles, thousands of dollars. But you know what? We helped those boys fulfill their dream. We worked hard. We dove along the way. We set a lot of goals along the way. We took that troop to sea base three times for sailing, for scuba diving, because it was the boys' dream, and we wanted to make that happen. And I can tell you that having watched their dreams be fulfilled, my dreams are also fulfilled. Those boys will never forget that, and neither will I. So my dream for everyone here today is that you will find something that really fires you up, that you'll be a beacon to the youth that you serve, and you'll make it happen. That was my leadership dream. What's your leadership dream, and what are you guys gonna do to make it happen? Catch that leadership dream. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Hey, I've heard some of you started in scouting because you had youth in the, in the program, but have you ever just been tagged? That's what happened with me. I started in venturing 10 years ago when we had friends that said, we need some help, and then quickly moved out of the area. And so it became my job to learn what to do. And I figured at the time, my two little girls, by the time they get old enough to be in venturing, maybe I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I jumped in with both feet and I, I attended the 2002 first area powder horn course up in Mount Baker and had a fantastic time and learned all about high adventure activities. And as part of that, I kind of caught the dream, the training dream, and turned around and signed up for Wood Badge the following year. With Powderhorn, learning all the high adventure experiences, and with Wood Badge, learning all the leadership skills, melding those together, I developed the confidence to be able to put together a high adventure training program for my youth. And most of all, we have fun. I have fun now because I've learned to turn everything over to my youth. 
And do you know what I've learned in the process? I've learned to cope. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> I've gotten fit, because last year, what did they want to do? They wanted to do a bike ride in the San Juan Islands. And when we realized it was only going to be 98 miles, oh no, that's not good enough. We've got to do 103. <laughs> and I've learned Mount Constitution. If you can do that, you can accomplish anything. Two summers ago, we did a 100 mile raft trip down the Deschutes River and had a blast. And we are in the process of planning our third scuba diving trip to Honduras Ooh. coming this summer. Yeah. So when you dream, when you turn it over to the youth, they dream big. All right. So here's my totem. All the things that we do. So as you can see, we all come to scouting through different programs, whether it's Cubs, Scouts, Varsity, or Venturing. The paths that we have taken in leadership training have all been different, but we are all tied together like the sinew strands you see in the web of the Dreamcatcher. Now the Dreamcatcher is considered a symbol of unity among various Indian nations, not unlike the unity that we share in scouting. The Abijwa believe that the Dreamcatcher changes a person's dreams, and we want to share our dream with you that throughout this week, as you learn more about the methods of scouting and build upon your leadership skills, you will, be you will be caught up in our vision, our wood badge vision. That may the youth that you touch be inspired and that you may have fun in the process. Cast, Cast the leadership, leadership dream! dream.